Hi everyone. This week we are talking about the seven phrases that Jesus spoke from the cross. And today we're talking about the third phrase. It's found in John chapter 19 verses 26 and 27. We're at the point in the story where Jesus has been crucified and erected on the cross. He would have been in immense pain and agony. Searing pain would have been raging through his body and he would have been struggling for every breath. And yet in this situation, he looks down at the few people in front of him, the only ones that didn't desert him, the ones that he loves most. And standing near the foot of his cross, we find his own mother, his mother's sister, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the wife, wife of Clopas, and John, Jesus' very close friend and disciple. And Jesus spoke these words. He said, dear woman, here is your son. And to John, he said, here is your mother. The Bible tells us that from that day on, John took Jesus' mother into his home. We see two important things in this phrase Jesus spoke. First, we see that Jesus loved his mother dearly. You know, the Bible tells us to honor our fathers and mothers, and Jesus was the perfect example of this. And second, we see that he saw to it that she would be cared for. You know, as the oldest son in his family, he had the cultural obligation to care for his mother. And he passed that obligation on to one of his closest friends, John. The Bible teaches the importance of caring for the widows and the elderly. James 1.27 says, Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for orphans and widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. You know, Jesus personally saw to his mother's care in his final hours of death. What an example to us to love and honor our parents and the elderly, to care for them with love in their times of need. I want to encourage you, if there is an older person in your life, to reach out to them and let Jesus be the example to love and care for them in their time of need. And share this video with those around you. And I will talk to you tomorrow with the fourth phrase that Jesus spoke while he was on the cross.